water is the enemy, yep. right? It expands and causes this kind of thing to happen. You can imagine this in biology. That cell's not alive anymore. That cell's not yeah. alive anymore, yeah. right? <laughs> My tasty beverage is done. Hey Nick, I see you have a can, but this can is not holding any liquid anymore. That's broken. Yeah, this can's not holding any water yeah. anymore. Yeah, I, uh, I made a bit of a mistake here. Um, I wanted to have a nice cold refreshing beverage before mm -hmm. our, our bio break here. And of course I, I put this into the freezer to quickly uh, get it cooled and look at the, the results. Yeah. Not good. But it gave me uh, an idea. I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about cryopreservation, right? If I had done some cryopreserving steps, we wouldn't have had this problem. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd spend a few moments if you'll humor me and yeah, tell yeah. you a little bit about Absolutely. cryopreservation. And cryopreservation is basically, uh, as the name implies, uh, preserving something so that this doesn't happen, preventing mm -hmm. damage. And as biology, we're filled with water and in freezing things, water is the enemy, yep. right? It expands and causes this kind of thing to happen. You can imagine this in biology. Yeah, that cell's not alive anymore. That cell's not yeah. alive anymore, yeah. right? <laughs> My tasty beverage is gone. And so there's, there's, there's a couple of ways of getting rid of water in cells and preserving them. And there's two ways, there's on kind of opposite ends of the spectrum really. There's the, the slow method and the fast method. And the slow method, what we want to do is add um, some cryopreservative agents or CPAs. And they're typically things like sugars mm -hmm. or tree halose. And we uh, will pretend this is a cell now. Yeah. What we want to do is uh, put the cell in these, uh, in these sugars. And those sugars will do two things. One is it'll cause this osmotic um, uh, shift uh, where we'll try and pull water uh, out of the cell and keep it there by having the sugar there. And also, if we think about biology and lipid membranes, the sugars will, will um, you know, lipid membranes, there's a, kind of two of them and they'll, they'll all be these little fatty acids. The sugars will go and bind in the phosphate head groups and stabilize them mm -hmm. so that when, when it does freeze, they don't kind of all come apart, right? Okay. So those those two methods. And then the slow method, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll put in those cryopreservative agents, CPAs, and we'll put them in a machine, I think back from grad school, you remember? Uh, uh, the Mr. Freezy. The Mr. Yeah, Freezy, yeah, the Mr. Freezy. Freezy. Yeah. Put it in this device and it would actually cause freezing on the outside and that would remove some of the thermal energy mm -hmm. and have ice on the outside and then your cells would, would get frozen mm -hmm. slowly and yeah. remove the water and you get a nice preserved cell. It's all about slow freezing. Slow freezing. Yeah. The opposite though is mm -hmm. vitrification, so okay. fast freezing. And in that case, what we do is take our cell again, and instead of those nice uh, cryopreserved agents, we use kind of harsher ones. Mm -hmm. We use things like glycerol, propylene glycol. Uh, I think we were even talking about DMSO, mm -hmm. like pretty toxic things. And we will do a titration where we'll slowly increase these concentrations over time with that, that cell and eventually pull out all the water. It's a real balancing that act there, right? Too, too fast and we don't get the water mm -hmm. up too slow and the toxic agents kill us out that mm -hmm. day. And then when we're ready, whew, drop that into, into, into an ice bath or liquid nitrogen, you know, minus 196 degrees centigrade, mm -hmm. 77 Kelvin. That thing is frozen, hopefully avoid vitreous uh, or make vitreous ice so we don't have ice crystals, it's amorphous. And then we're, we're protected. And then when we want that cell back, we reverse the process where we thaw it out and take out those toxic agents, in, uh, decreasing, pardon me, mm -hmm. the uh, concentration of these over time. And then we've got preserved cells and we don't have uh, things that look like that. Well, that's very interesting. And you were just referring to like these toxic agents and that's mm. exactly what we're often dealing with with stem cell uh, therapies, Absolutely. right? Because these yep. stem cells are, are stabilized for long periods of time to be in a frozen state. But then before we administer them to a patient, we need to get rid of these, uh, these agents. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah and that, that's a, probably a whole other episode yeah, in and of itself. Yeah, we, should, yeah. we should do that next yeah. time. Cool. Next time. Anyway. Have a great day.